Hey, how's everybody doing? And we're just getting comfortable here. Found my name tag, by the way, guys. So, let you guys get a closer look at it. There we go. So, again, the costume is getting all ready for... For uh, what you call Wednesday morning. So, again, just doing a quick alteration of the arms. And I won't send... Let people gradually come in on their own. Uh, I won't send any invites because the fact I am on late, so. And. So again, when I put the, I think I'm going to move the phone down. That way, guys, you can see what I'm doing. And, uh, and that kind of thing as well. So that way you guys, ooh, you guys can actually see that what I got on my lap here. So that way you get me in the picture. And so again, I fold the cufflings under. Sewing is just not my sport, guys, sorry. <laughs> uh, but like I said, uh, it's got to get done. So again, guys, you can see I got the one arm already done, guys. So because the arm's a little long. Uh, again, we're not going to go into too much detail with the legs because nobody ever sees the legs. So uh, I could probably kind of cuff them up underneath with rope or something like that. I never know. Guys, the threading is kind of the hardest part. So again, I'm just getting my Ghostbuster suit together here. Uh, so, and that kind of stuff for Wednesday morning. I do it now, that way I can get it the right size of my arm length. I know. Yeah, it's funny. The guys sewing. Not too many people, not too many guys sew. Uh, it's kind of hard to see the... Yeah, I've been... Uh, luckily, when I was in cadets and that kind of stuff, I had people sew my stuff on for me. Now I live independently. I'm married. I live on my own. The wife don't know how to sew. So technically, or she don't like sewing one of the two. So technically, I do it all on my own now. So if this sloppy, I am sorry. Um, that kind of stuff. Oh. Turn this way. And so again, we're getting the get my Wednesday morning costume all together. I don't know. I may stay in this costume all day, guys. Go up for go up for a, a Halloween coffee night in the same costume or I don't know may come home and change into another costume hello Jerry how you doing and uh, yeah just just tailor just kind of tailoring up uh, trying to tailor up my um, uh, my arm on my Ghostbuster flight suit here and uh, so anyhow just just kind of give you a quick look at it so you guys can see there and uh, so anyhow so again uh, again, it is we've got our we we've got a Halloween party at work on Wednesday morning, so uh, we're we're getting dressed up for work. All us employees at work are dressing up for Halloween, and we are going to ha it is going to have our picture taken at work and that kind of stuff too. So it's the only day we get away from our actual work uniforms, dental uniforms. So. Um, so again, uh, again, we'll be probably. So again, that's where we have a bit of a Halloween party at work, and we, we, we dress up we dress up on the way to work, or kind of dress up for work and that kind of stuff as well. Um, oh, oh, oh did I lost the arm. Again, I lost the tail. Wait, was that the... I thought I did that one. Oh, no, that was the other one. I'm on this one. 
And uh, so, and also too, guys, if you noticed, I put uh, I put my, my lapel pins on there. Oh, my flags are drunk. Again, I put, put my lapel pins on there. Ontario, Canadian, British flag. Can Canadian 100th anniversary. Uh, so, now I'm going to fix this here. And we may have to have to, I might have to fix my woolly patch. My Wyerton Willy patch. I was going to wear my Canadian Wyerton Willy Groundhog Day hat, but uh, I figured, nah, very regular Canadian hat. It is Halloween, so technically we're going to be, we just could get that cuffling under there. I just had it. I lost it. <laughs> I had it. I lost it. And also, too, I found my name tag, too. Uh, again, it was floating around in one of the envelope boxes, so. So we're going to make sure that it's all lined up in there. I had a great time at the Halloween party today, too. Uh, f at my friend's Halloween party. She, uh, her and her, her, and her uh, boyfriend, uh, fiancé, threw a, threw a Halloween party today. It was really, really cool. My wife and I went to it. Uh, my wife doesn't dress up for those things. Uh, I do. I love dressing up. And if you're going to ask, uh, a lot of people will ask me, well, you know, don't forget to pull a Tom pack. Well, that is different. Uh, than normal. Oh, oh, oh. I got string hanging from. Oh, nope, that's my string I'm using. Uh, so again, here it is, guys. It's a headset, and which is going to plug into a battery Wi Fi uh, battery modem pack. And that's going to go on. That is actually going to go in my back pocket, and my headset's going to plug into that. So again, there is. So again, it is a digital. So technically, it's going to be like a digital Wi Fi. Um, Proton pack headset. Uh, so that way you don't have to really lug anything heavy on your back. <laughs> uh, so again, it is it is more portable. And, uh, th and these two guys, they uh, when it's plugged in, guys, you've probably seen them. Me have it plugged into my computer. They light up, especially in the dark, guys. They're LED lights, so they plug. They they actually light up in the dark. So these lights come on. So when they're plugged into a battery pack or they're plugged plugged into a computer guys they actually light up so again and uh, right here is like like a like a laser light lead light right there that shines through there and then that, the ears shine up different colors so like I said that is and flash different colors so that is quite cool um, so again that is that is kind of gonna be quite different um, and so anyhow and there's my name tag. Let's see where it says Tim Plain on it, which is my full name is Timothy Scott Plain, but uh, it is uh, again it was cheaper to get my short name put on there than my last. Um, but yeah, so so again that's uh, and then I put kind of some if you noticed I put some kind of Halloween stickers on the top, guys. So again, that is professionally graved. So you guys can get a closer look at that there. And then see, guys, you can tell at the back it is magne magnetized. So that way it is, uh, it sticks to everything. Even to my house keys. So again, guys, back to this. Uh, I may have to f fix my wire to Millie patch. Do not know yet. Uh, again, uh, this flight suit I bought secondhand, guys. I regret it. I should have bought a new one. Uh, I did not know that in between the legs there was uh, there was a hole, so I ended up having to mend mending up the hole and uh, <coughs> sewing it up. So technically, uh, when I wear my flight suit, I wear brown pants or black pant jeans with it over top of it, so it looks like like the upper part just looks like the, looks like the actual looks like a shirt and. Uh, the top part here looks like a shirt, so, uh, like I said, so, it is, 
as I'm not parading around in my long johns. <laughs> uh, or walking down the street in my longy johns. Again, out of most light, light uh, Ghostbuster uh, suits, by the way, guys, this is one of the, this is going to be one of the, uh, I have to say it's got to be one of the uh, cheap, the cheapest ones you could buy on the market. Now there, is, I have seen uh, same place about this one. I have seen like a, a mechanical one, but uh, that is a real heavy, thick mechanical uh, one-piece flight suit, and, uh, and that, that would actually you have to require ordering the badges separately and sewing them on yourself. Um, this one, this one, because it's a cheaper, it is a cheaper costume material. Uh, it is, it is lighter material suit. So the decal is all already came pre-printed on it. Um, because like I said, I got it. You bought it used at the Salvation Army. So, I try you. Be good, bud. So, like I said, uh, again, I just let you know, guys, uh, I'm surprised they even made it through. I mean, it can add I'm a very shitty sore. Um, I, I, I remember those days growing up. I used, I used to have people used to, used to my, my, uh, the, uh, the, uh, ladies, the girl, well, at that time we were kids, we were teenagers. All the, uh, female sergeants used to do all my sewing for me. And, uh, and that kind of thing. So I'm not around anymore. I'm on my own now. I'm growing up. I got a wife that doesn't even know how to sew. <laughs> and uh, and she can't cook without setting off the fire alarm. Hey, smoke detector. Get down, sweetie. And um, again, I'm just going to get that. Yeah, I love you too, bud. You find it. Yeah, you be a good boy. You go keep the covers warm, bud. Again, that's my little boy, I tray you. Don't matter what kids look like, they're still kids. And that. So, no matter if they're if they're adopted, four legged or whatever, they're, they're to me they're still children. So, um they st we I still treat them like children. Don't I, babies? Yeah. But you whine too much. Yeah, for no reason you whine, 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 whine. Should have brought you home some cheese. <laughs> Leftover G's from the party. So, so we get, hey, no, you're not going to help Papa. You're not going to help Papa so No. Okay? You can watch, but you can't help Papa so But, uh, sometimes I can't help laughing at this little guy. He, uh, he's a little comic clown at what he wants to be. Eh? I was wondering, trying to want to, no, you're not, get your paw out there. We don't want to get it caught in a thread. Because if you get get it caught in the thread, your paw will get so, your paw would actually tie down. No. Get your paws off. Get your paws off. Thank you. No. I know you want to help babies, but you can't help, okay? Your mama should be doing this. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Don't wreck the party before the party. Hey! Down. Yeah, he's gonna play with everything. He thinks every... He's at that... He's at that child... He's still a child... He's still a child kitten. Like, he's still a kitten. So, uh, he's not... He's not that fully growing. He's getting there. He's getting there, but he's not fully grown yet. He's still, he still, he still has a child in him, and uh, and that kind of kind of stuff. So he gets curious about what I'm doing. I would do the legs, but I think I'm going to just kind of take a shortcut and tie the legs up with a rope. <laughs> uh, it'd be the easiest. And uh, and that kind of stuff as well. Because you won't see that because those those little shortcut tricks is because I will have jeans on. So over top of this. So. 
considering my pants don't have a hole in the same spot where I had to sew up in the flight suit. Now that's definitely embarrassing. I was going to go as Peter Pan, but too many people. <laughs> that is too common. Uh, and it's getting very old-fashioned nowadays. Uh, everybody's getting I get, uh, everybody's getting away from Peter Pan nowadays. Peter Pan is not a big... Uh, uh, a big, uh, what you call... A big fad. It's a fad that's come back for a bit. Didn't... Did well, but didn't do as well as Ghostbusters did. So... This year, you're gonna see on the streets, uh, on the streets on Halloween night, out walking around, you're gonna see a lot of Ghostbusters, uh, d definitely. Um, so, so which is kind of, kind of cool, especially, especially with the with the with the trick or treaters. Just let you know, guys, I do not trick or treat. I do dress up Halloween night, but as far as I go, is go to Tim Hortons to buy coffee, and that is it. And I just I just dress up up just to kind of to support the Halloween festivity night. Because it's Halloween. Other than that, normally, uh, that is about it. Other than that, I don't do any. I, I don't go to door to door. I stopped doing that when I was about I was about fourteen or fifteen when I stopped. And then, it, begging for candy. <laughs> um. So so again, my Halloween's is basically. Um, like, like like we did for the first half there, uh, before the Halloween night there, when we did the Haunted House live on here for you guys. That's basically my Halloween. And um, and, and uh, also, too, is going to probably to Halloween, uh, Halloween parties. Um, not too many places around here this year doing Halloween. Uh, a lot of bars doing Halloween parties this year. I don't know. Not that I heard of, anyways. Um... So, so again, I do know that there is out in Purple Valley, uh, and I don't drive, so I'm not going to get out to it. Uh, and plus, the one I don't, I can't afford to go to it this year. I couldn't afford to it to go last year either. Maybe next year I'll get to it. Uh, it is, it is a Western uh, Halloween Western cowboy, uh, ghostly, ghouly, spooky cowboy stomp and stomp. Long name, tongue twister. And uh, it, it's it, again. It is a bar party in a barn. It, it's a barn bar party on Halloween night, and uh, it is very old, old. Uh, it is very old. What you call Halloween tradition? Uh, of course, you. Of course, where I live, we have a we live around a bunch of pioneers and farmers. So uh, and that kind of thing. So well, pioneer ages are done a lot years, generations ago. But there is still people that are that are still around that still live the old farm life and uh, you know that are farmers and you know they 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 still love the old fashioned traditions they kept going for years um, and that kind of stuff. So they do the barnyard Halloween stomp and stomp square dancing and all that kind of stuff. So and that, and that, and that's kind of cool, and they dress up too as well. But um, I think Purple Valley is doing it again this year. I don't know. Uh, they do it every year. That is why Optimus kind of went downhill uh, with their Halloween services and that kind of. Well, I can't say services. What went downhill with their Halloween party, anyways? Because uh, they used to throw Optimus used to throw uh, again. The their their party dance party used to be. Uh, right after, either the night before Halloween, uh, or the weekend before Halloween, right after the community living one, and, uh, the weekend after the Halloween one, after the community living one, and, uh, and that kind of thing. So, uh, when they heard about Purple Valley throwing a uh, Halloween event, they, they shut their event down, Optimus here did. Um, they did away with it. Because we're losing too many people to it, and they weren't getting the people out to it. And because uh, everybody would either go out to the western stomp and stomp, <laughs> barnyard stomp, and Halloween stomp and stomp is dead. So, uh, so again, again, that that kind of somebody else kind of took out a gig. But that is okay. Um, not a big deal. Not a big deal. But 
you know, it, it's it's quite cool though. But leastly, at leastly, people are are entertaining people for Halloween at least. Um, at first, we thought thought maybe they would, that that part of it, uh, or the tradition, the parties, and that it would die out. Um, but it's good to see they haven't. Um, and of course, too, it's funny because there's a lot of service clubs around today that won't do it anymore. Um, either because some of the members have been there for years, or they're getting too old, they can't, they can't handle it anymore. And the young people do not want to. They do not want to. They do not want to want to, uh, to to run it to run it by traditional way. They had like to run it a different way. <laughs> I know I'm young myself. Um, I'm 38, so like I said, it's uh, and then of course I live. It's 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 neat because I, I live in an area too where you get a lot of seniors and they're used to their mind is set one way and they don't like cha any. They're a type of people they don't like think they don't like us. They don't like us young people changing anything. They don't like change. Um, they hate changes. Um, their their ways are so set. Uh, they're, they're kind of, kind of so used, used to their own way <laughs> of doing things. Um, that's, that's what I said. It, it is t a nice town here, but it is too old pioneer school, uh, and that kind of thing. It, 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 it is too traditional, traditionally old traditional, um, farm tradition stuff here, and that kind of stuff. Do we have internet? Yep. Uh, there is still some groups here that uh, that still still live the old ways without electronics and that kind of stuff. Uh, we do have Amish communities that do do live uh, out near Katy, and uh, and that kind of, kind of stuff. And they don't have they still love living the old old pioneer way. Actually, they I have to grant they live better than we do, um, and cheaper than we do, and uh, they're probably a lot healthier than we are. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I think I could I personally could not live that way. Uh, me myself, uh, me I'd probably uh, Trey, you be quiet. I probably go ape shit without my internet and without my cable and without my telephone and you know having to light a candle on the wall every day to go before I go to bed. Uh, you know, there goes my electric fireplace because I wouldn't be allowed to use it. I'd have to learn how to use a wood stove or an old-fashioned log fireplace. Anything that does not plug into a wall and contains high usage of hydro. Um, I mean, I think technically, I think think my Ghostbuster fan days would be over because uh, <laughs> I they they'd probably have those old uh, what you call cowboy. Torches, or the probably the packs are probably made of wood. And they probably have a log with probably like a big uh, silk uh, cloth on it, and they probably dab it with whisk or something, a gasoline or something, uh, to light light the top of it like a torch <laughs> and go back back to the old old Viking rebel days. Um, I'm just kidding. A little bit better sense of humor. Um, And I don't think I don't think I could live without all my movies either. Totally, honestly, I don't think I could. Personally, I would not be right for that kind of lifestyle. I would not. I personally would not be able. I'd go nuts. You know, like, and it's a type of lifestyle. You have to go to church every Sunday or Saturday, whenever they meet. You all live together. You work out in the fields and the far hey, leave it alone. You work out in the farm fields all day long. You don't eat till your job is done. No work, no food. I don't think they live like that. <laughs> or by religious laws. Move. Move. Move, 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 move. Go away. Shoo. And I'm playing with my string. Do you play with Mama's string when she's trying to sew? You don't play with Papa's. I'm gonna probably, probably try another knot into this. Hey, excuse me. Scoot. Scoot. 
Scoot, scoot, scoot. Okay. Now you can get it. Now you can leave Papa alone. Let Papa do his work. Thank you. I train you. Listen, buddy. Kids. Cute, but can be annoying at times. At times. Hey, babies. Especially you. You keep me up all night. I like to know, yeah, you, 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 you keep me up all night. Yeah, you and, and you, you in here playing with ghosts, everything else like that. When I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> you guys got some type of ball game going or something like that. One throws the ball, you run after it, you go crazy. Hey, don't play with that. Because I know, because between the both of you guys broke my VCR, and I'm not too happy. No, Papa's not too happy. That's okay, Papa will get a new VCR. Hey. So you get that knot in you get that knot in there. Hey. Hey, excuse me. This is not yours. Don't play with it. You like to play with everything. Everything is not toy, sweetie. You make daddy prick his finger, I'll tell you right now. You'll be doing this. You probably do <laughs> a easier job than I'm doing. I, you Okay, watch yourself, baby. Okay, come on, move away, move away. Daddy got a sewing, ow. Sorry about that, guys. Daddy's got a sewing needle. Don't get in my way. Okay? No, get get down. No, seriously. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Can't believe people are watching Christmas already. We haven't even got through Halloween yet. <laughs> That's okay. Well, it, it's kind of weird because if you look at the stores. Oh, when they. Oh, look. I made a boo boo there. At the same time as they're stocking up for Halloween, they stock up for Christmas. Right beside each other. In the same aisle. So you can, you can do your Halloween shopping and your Christmas shopping at the same time. Hey! Get down. I try you. Do you mind? Down. Down. Don't play with daddy's stuff. Yeah, Buzz Sauce as soon calls me dad. Yeah, okay. I can barely, I got my hands full with this little guy, my four-legged guy, as is. I'm, ju I'm just a friend of us. Uh, he's not related to me. He's just, he just calls me that because he likes to annoy me. Um, but that is okay. Only little guy I have, which is my little baby boy. Is my little four-legged four, four -legged baby boy down here is just sitting beside me playing with my string, with my sewing needle string. Yes, I'm talking about you.
Hey, don't play with it, buddy. Okay? Do not play with it. Hey, now, see, you're blocking the camera now. Yeah, you're blocking daddy's view. He can't see the comments with you blocking it. Between you and Facebook, I don't know who's worse <laughs> for blocking comments. Ah, uh, I tell you. Yeah, you can wink at daddy all you like for that one, too. I'm just joking, guys. It, it, it's just a bit of a sense of humor and that kind of stuff as well. I'm kind of up getting late getting this all done. I have till Wednesday to get it done. And if I stop in the middle of this, and then I will never get back to it. It always, it always, uh, it always never fails. So I want to make sure I got it all completely done for when, for Wednesday morning. <coughs> Excuse me. So, again, we're going to go. Yeah, I'm going to get that up in, in there. Just let guys know that I am not a good sewer. I never learned how to sew. I just... I just... I'm just one to play with a needle and thread. I'd probably make a shitty doctor, too. <laughs> if I ever went to college or medical school. That's probably why I never became one. That's probably why at the dentist office all you do is clean the floors. <laughs> Scrub the toilets. Um, and stuff envelopes. There's my day. Oop. One day a week for ta two hours, that's it. Yeah, my, another thing, too, my wife's got all the CSI movies, shows, every single one. I had fun buying her all those ones, I'll tell you. It was a pain in the tush. Because then she, she, she wanted CSI Miami, then she wanted CSI New York, then she wanted CSI Investigation. And you ever see the series to those CSI series? They are long. <laughs> long, long, way longer than Nightmare on Elm Street even is or Star Wars. <laughs> Wonder what's worse for never ending, CSI or and it's funny because uh, she uh, she didn't want the new set that came out, um, the new the the actual new episodes that come out called CSI Las Ve uh, Las Vegas or Los Angeles Las Vegas whatever. Um, she didn't want that set. <laughs> um, I was going to buy it for her. Add to her collection.
like I said, I got, ooh, let's get that inside out. So I'm going to finish up that stitching. I'm going to probably get a shorter thread um, this time just, just to kind of finish up there. Funny thing is, it's, um, we get lost, ah, claws, get lost. I should have called you Freddy Cougar. You got the claws for it. But no, I like to trade you better, and when we were deciding what to name you, Daddy should have named you, hey, Nightmare on William Street. <laughs> Wyerton. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Stay, don't play with that. You gotta play with everything, don't you? Don't you? This is kind of hard, guys. It's just uh, if you guys have a dog or a cat, it's, sewing is very hard to do uh, because anything that dangles, they play with it. It is so annoying. Hey, <laughs> stop! We're playing with the needle. Hey. Okay. Daddy's almost finished. Now get down. So again, we're gonna get that. Uh, we're gonna get that. Oh, it's still flashing blue. That's gonna go a red light before it's fully charged, or it stops flashing. One of the two. Hey, hey, do you mind? Hey, excuse me. Go away. Hey. Excuse me, get down. Down. Go keep the covers warm, buddy. Okay? Go keep... Go keep daddy's covers warm. It's gonna be a cold night in Wyerton tonight, I'll tell you. I think we're in for snow soon.
gets any colder, or we get down to 50 below zero, technically we're going to be waking up to probably 17 or 20, meter, 20 centimeters of snow outside. Looking forward to that. So again, we're going to get that in there, and that. So again, I've got both arms done. Ow! Fuck, just pricked myself again. Sorry about that. See? Papa pricking himself. 13 times. This is why you don't bug Papa when he's with using a sewing needle. I don't bleed. I went right through the skin this time. So again, we're just gonna get that touched up, and I can get that sewed up here. Hey, Trey, you get lost. Scoot! Scoot! See, I made a mistake. Tw three times. So, so I gotta tie that. Hey! Hey! Scoot! Okay, we got that done, and now I gotta. Then tomorrow, guys, I'm gonna do the. Then I'm gonna touch up the batch, the wire tumorly patch. Cause tonight I'm just gonna be overtired, and I'll be banging the walls really early in the morning. No, just kidding. Sometimes I'll get so overtired and that kind of thing and uh, that. So I said next year is going to be quite interesting, guys. I'm going to have to, I will have to live stream my Halloween costume next year because I think next year, I think I'm going to, next year I'm going to dress up as Super Dave Osborne <laughs> next year. Don't know. Still hanging up. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, but that'll be next year for 2019, guys. And, um, 
and I already got my little Fuji Hakahito <laughs> sitting there beside me, uh, playing with my uh, playing with my threads, and uh, a little Atreyu. Oh. So again, guys, we we're going to we're gonna tie that off there. That way. Oh man. So again, like I said, we got that all. I may have to still tie those arms. Don't know yet. Nope. Nope. I think I think one is shorter than the other. Nope. They're about the same length. So again, I give you guys one last look at the equipment here, the gear. Again, I'm gonna fix that tomorrow because I got more thread that I gotta. I've actually gotta sit here and thread, and uh, like that. So. So again, again, oh, it's a good thing I didn't do the legs today. Maybe I might still have time time to do the legs. Do not know yet. Or maybe I'll just tie off the legs and uh, when I put it on. And uh, so anyhow, guys, there we are. And uh, there's my Wireton, uh, Wireton Willy patch here. Wireton, Ontario, Canada, so you guys can see right there. Picture Wireton Willy in a canoe and a Canadian maple leaf. And down here it is the wire Tim Willy pin and I'll explore, explore the Bruce. And I got my little pal pins there. And my Ontario pin. Just slowly adding it. My Canadian flag on the arm. So you guys guys can see the Ghostbuster symbol there, guys. So same as, as what's on the front. So again, guys, she's a kind of a kind of being slowly being worked on and that kind of stuff as well. Um, and that I would love to do regular shows on a regular basis with this gear on, but I don't know yet. We're still thinking of it. I'm still working on it. And uh, see, but right now, guys, right now it is. Uh, strictly uh, right now it is just uh, just with Halloween coming up Wednesday for work uh, I'm only only gonna be have the gear on for when for Halloween so um, so again so so again guys you can see that and uh, so again it's very 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 what we call light 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 material I seen the heavier material once like the big big the traditional big mechanical ones uh, that you can get or the Air Force ones the Salvation Army but they're it's not bad but you'd have to buy your own badges to put on it so it, it is one of those things that you buy the you buy the flight suit and then you you got to buy your own badges to kind of sew on the arm and that kind of thing so it's more sewing because you have to purchase your own Ghostbuster badges to put on the arms and that kind of stuff and you know your your district um, or your community and um, so we're gonna put that back there and we're gonna get pick up little mr. troublemaker here and hey, come here sweetie oh, the guy is making all the trouble trying to go after everything gonna say hi everybody yeah you gotta say hello see see who's on yeah see hi Jerry yeah and then there's Lance yeah so again this is my little boy or tray you hey yeah Tray you, yeah, hey, you little, you little fella, ain't ya? Yeah, no doing somersaults, <laughs> no doing circus acts, buddy. So, 
Okay? Yeah, you little hyper guy. You go lay down now, okay? Be good. And also, too, guys, I'm going to show you the headset again, guys. So, oh, man, she is tangled. Hey. So, again, guys, headset. Are you seeing me on with the laptop? Hey, excuse me. Don't play with everything. So, again, headset. It's going to plug into the battery modem. It's going to be in my pocket. Um, and that, my battery pack. So, again, you guys can see. And also, too, guys, it's cool because these light up and that kind of thing. So, when it's plugged in, guys, it, the LED lights in them plug up. Plug in. And the LED lights shine and they, they flash in there. And then in here, you got LED lights as well. Through here. And it just plugs into the battery modem pack. And and you guys, Ghostbusters, gonna love this one because you don't even have to need a pumped on pack. Um, all you need is just one of these. You can buy them at the source, little battery modem packs, and uh, one of those kind of headphones, and they kind of plug in, uh, plug in right there. And uh, when they light up and that kind of thing, and it lights up the headphones in the dark too. So because they got they got got the LED lights in them too. So again, there's my Proton pack. Did we got digital now? Make things lighter. Um, just strap it to your belt or strap it in your pocket. And uh, so anyhow, and uh, also too, there, there's my name tag, guys. So I don't want to cover up the Tim, my my name there. So we're live on the Timothy Plain show, and uh, Tim for short. <laughs> And uh, so, anyhow, guys, there is uh, the, the, the it is oh yeah, it's a Sony too. Uh, it is a V one of those VP oh, V VP V uh, VP something voice res VRP things uh, voice response thingies recordings. And I got my LED light, guys, so you guys can see. See LED light, shiny. And now I got let you guys know these are real CB Rocky Talkie guys. Uh, they are channeled uh, when they're turned on. They're on a charger now, but um, also too, it is they actually do work. They're set channels, so you can get any hooligan on there. Um, anybody from carnival, circuses, whatever, airline pilots, whatever channels they're on, um, they channel through it at different times. The weather guy you know so just wanted to show you that so that way when I'm outside guys I can actually get my headphones to light up with my my uh, portable modem Wi-Fi modem battery pack modem portable modem and it's wireless the, the headset the head part is not wireless but the battery is wireless so it is, uh, the battery itself is actually wireless, so. It's good because it's good for 100 range feet. So no matter where I go, it, uh, it, it, it actually, it, it actually, it actually, um, it's, it's actually good for my data time too on my phone. And wherever I go, I can, I can connect with my home Wi-Fi at any point in time. Within a good hundred mile range. Yeah. See, I I got electric I got electronical toys. Uh. Hey, 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 bud. Daddy, just playing with you. <coughs> so. So that, so again that 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 way you know it is <sighs> I can still work my headphones it's on my ears oh and uh, also too, I was gonna wear the Superman hat but I decided not to because <coughs> I got got my Canadian pins on and I'm gonna wear my Canadian hat 
this. <coughs> I got a couple of these too. <coughs> and uh, so anyhow, I've got a, a couple of those. I got a nice red one. I got a blue one. Uh, I think I think the red one though is some better days. And then I got a blue one kicking around, and I got a wire Tim Willie one for Groundhog Day. So so again, like I said, so that's that's I'm all set for Halloween. And uh, so again, we've we've got our we got our work photo party on Wednesday morning and that kind of stuff. So we get to wear dress up for work and that kind of stuff. So and also two guys, Tim Hortons here. All Tim Hortons stores. Some of the employees are probably be dressed up at work and same with Food Land and that kind of stuff. They'll be up dressed up for work and that kind of stuff. And uh, so same with the dentist office. We'll be dressing up as well. Um, again, we have an early morning. Uh, we. Uh, on Halloween, Wednesday morning, we, we, we're having like a group picture done. So, that'd be kind of cool. Hey, you gonna play with my feet? Hey, you gonna play with my feet? I was gonna be a unicorn, but, nah. I, I thought, I thought, I thought I'd just go with my Ghostbuster gear. It'd be a lot easier. Um, a little less work. And that kind of kind of stuff to put, just to slip into it. So with a unicorn, I would have to put the wig on, and then I would have to do makeup, and then have to do lipstick, eyeliner. I would actually have to clean shave my face first, and then do lipstick, eyeliner, blush, uh, lip gloss, you know, and paint my na fingernails. So too much work. Um, like, 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 like when I went to the, to the friend's Halloween party, uh, well, I can say now it's past 12 o'clock yesterday, uh, I kind of, kind of did a mixture of two characters, uh, again, dressed up as two characters, in one, uh, Atreyu from the Neverending Story and Indiana Jones, uh, so kind of with a four-door hat, so like I said, that is, that was kind of, kind of a mixture, um, but yeah, so, oh, sorry, lost my light, hope that works, yep, that works, and, um, so again, I'm going to put those in here for now. That way I know where they are. Those are the ties for my legs. Um, and I'm going to put my name tag in here too as well. So that way I know where it is. That way I'm not losing it. put this in here, the voice recorder in here too as well, and, um, and that, so anyhow, we just wanted to do a quick update, and, uh, so that way you can see how it is, how, how I'm prepping my costume for tomorrow, for, what for, for Wednesday morning, and like I said, guys, uh, the cool thing is, on my way to work, I will go live. Because I've got an early morning start, so uh, I gotta uh, be up very early that day, and uh, probably, probably gonna go. Probably with it being Halloween, I probably make make my way up to um, get to buy a coffee too as well. Or I never know. Wait till or I might wait till after that on my way back home by checking the mail. But, um, <laughs> might take a bag too to put my stuff in so that way, um, 
or my headgear in anyways, so so that way if I'm cleaning toilets and that, because water and electricity don't mix. Um, so. So anyhow, thank you for tuning in to the late Timothy Plain show, and uh, and Halloween weekend, and now which is Halloween week, and uh, we'll catch you guys later. Have a great night.